I believe that having the amputation on my foot it would help me walk. Hey guys, welcome back to Screen Orb. Today we'll talk about the grossest moments of my feet are killing me. Let's head into it. Number 1. Steven Steven Prinster came to Dr. Brad Schaefer, hoping for assistance with his different size feet. Steven revealed that his left foot size is 7, and his right foot is a size 11. Steven's daily life has been made more difficult by the fact that he had different size feet. To compound matters, Steven is also a member of his football team, and he has difficulty playing at times due to his feet. He admitted that there are days when he finds his feet covered in bruises, which causes him a lot of discomfort. Steven revealed that he became aware of the change in his feet after inadvertently injuring himself while playing football. One of his ligaments tore as a result of this incident, prompting him to seek medical attention. The doctor then discovered that one foot was four times smaller than the other. Steven suspected that this was due to the fact that he was born with club feet. He went on to say that one of his feet was facing the wrong way, and he had one, and he had to have surgery to get it back in place. Although the operation was successful, Steven suspected that it was the cause of his sore feet. When he met Dr. Brad Schaefer, he hoped that he could be helped. However, after studying Steven's conditions, Dr. Schaefer admitted that they couldn't do much about his feet's various sizes, but they could help him find the right shoes. He also revealed that he has a bunion on his right foot, a condition in which the bones begin to expand outwards. Dr. Schaefer indicated that surgery would be the best option for his condition and would alleviate his discomfort. Dr. Schaefer decided to participate in the experiment. He announced during the operation that he would be removing one of his foot's joints to make walking more convenient. Dr. Schaefer realigned the other joints and ensured that he had the right form until they Required joint was removed. And doing the follow ups. Number 2. Stacy. Stacy had difficulty getting around, and much of the time, she tried to place pressure on her left foot to ensure that her right foot was okay. However, as the days passed, she noticed that her situation was deteriorating. Stacy's feet were presenting a significant challenge to her ability to go on with her daily life. As she found it difficult to even walk much of the time, she announced that she had a tumor removed. She quickly became infected, and that other several operations, the infection worsened. After five operations, the doctors told Stacy to consider amputating her feet because they believed it was difficult to eradicate the infection. Stacy admitted that she wasn't able to spend much time as she would like with her daughter due to her feet. Stacy's daughter would sometimes invite her to go for a walk or swim, but she had to decline due to the risk of attracting another infection. To make it worse, Stacy discovered that she was allergic to most antibiotics, making it difficult for her to find the appropriate medications. Stacy's last resort was to consult Dr. Ebony Vincent to see what could be done. Dr. Ebony admitted to having keloid on her foot, a keloid is a scar that develops after being injured. Dr. Ebony recommended that Stacy undergo another operation that would focus on removing the contaminated area and filling the area with an amnion skin graft, which is a skin replacement. Stacy agreed to have the surgery after agreeing to it. Fortunately, the operation went well, but Dr. Ebony wanted to be sure it wasn't cancer and sent the sample for testing. Fortunately, it came back negative, and after weeks of resting her feet after surgery, Stacy was called back for an examination. Dr. Ebony examined Stacy's feet and was pleased with the findings. Stacy was told to take care of it and allow it to recover. I remember my mom telling me that I have a double toe. Number 3. Vaco. Vaco has extremely long toes that he cannot conceal. He wanted to see Dr. Brad Shaver in hopes of having his toe reduced in size. Vaco revealed that his long toes have caused him difficulties in his daily life. To begin with, he found it difficult to wear shoes because they always caused him discomfort. Dr. Shaver clarified that it generally occurred because his toe would bend against his shoes, causing discomfort. Vaco admitted that he often has to tie a bandage over his toe because the pain is intolerable. And according to Dr. Shaver, such toes may also trigger hammer toes. Vaco clarified that he only needs them repaired because he often feels like cutting his long toes with a knife because they give him too much trouble. Vaco also joked that since his toes are so long, he often refers to them as digits. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.